Then in the 1850s by an artist named Theodore Russo, who was the leading painter of the Barbizon School. They worked in the Barbizon Forest in France, which is about an hour outside of Paris. <coughs> I highly recommend a trip there because it's completely preserved and really fantastic. And um, this is actually a view of an area that's a little outside of Barbizon. It relates to a painting that's in the Clark Art Institute. And um, what's so wonderful about it is you can see Russo was a conservationist, was very concerned about industrialization encroaching on the forests, and um, you could see the respect and the admiration he had for the trees and the landscape and these wonderful little houses tucked in underneath the trees. And if you think about it, the idea of drawing a forest like that is a very complicated process for an artist. So if you could imagine you were standing in front of a group of trees like that, what he was thinking was almost like a photographer's eye, like where does he crop the leaves? So where would you start if you were going to draw a giant tree like that? Um, it's really quite an incredible accomplishment that he's been able to, to create this forest view for us and um, create the scene so that we have an idea of what it's like to do there. Is it pencil? It's actually chalk. Um, and this is actually a drawing that was used to make a painting. So it's called a transfer drawing. Um, and you can see when you get up close to it that the, the paper he used is a kind of a tracing paper. And he pressed down to transfer this image onto another another work. Uh, so it's really a working drawing. It's unusually large for drawings of this period um, and, and uh, very well documented, which is unusual. It belonged to a very important French art critic in the 1870s. And um, it's just a wonderful, I find it so peaceful and amazing to look at a forest like that. It's not something that, that I would get to see very often, so it's my way of getting out of the city. <laughs> <laughs>